In our last video, we met up with our family in Cusco and took an incredibly beautiful train ride to Machu Picchu. We had the best time exploring this wonder of the world. Today, we're continuing our journey through the Sacred Valley. This was the home of the Incan Empire 600 years ago. It was considered holy because of the fertile ground for growing crops and its incredible landscapes. Today we are in the sacred valley of Peru exploring all of the most unique and historical sites that Peru has to offer. Our first stop is the Ollantaytambo ruins. These were built in the 1100s by the Incas as a place to live and worship. All of these columns here were used for gardening and at the very top is where they build a temple and worship the gods. The Incas must have been in a lot better shape than I am. Seriously. This is straight up. <laughs> what did we just walk about? 30 stairs and we're... Something like that, yeah. Dying. One of the cool things they do is uh, fit these rocks together perfectly. They have no uh, metal tools and yet they've got the angles so they, the rocks fit perfectly. It's crazy. I'm not sure how they did it. So this is what the Incas called the water temple. This is where they would collect the rainwater, use it to drink and for irrigation. All right, as awesome as this is, we still have tons more to see. Let's go to the next one. We've just driven about an hour into the mountains from Ollantaytambo to Marai, which is a crazy cool farmland that the Incas built. The reason that they built a circular shape at the bottom and then worked their way up is actually because different crops grow better at different elevations. So they would farm corn, cacao, potatoes, anything they could grow, and they would farm the different crops on different levels for them to grow the best. Also, Lennon is asleep with Chloe, so it's just me exploring this one. Hi, Chloe. Our next stop, we plan specifically for Lennon, Olive, and Otto. I think you're gonna love this, buddy. Woo! I think you're gonna love this. Woo! Oh, put your hand up like this. Oh. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> Look how happy Lennon is. He wants to pet him. There we go. See, nice and oh, soft. Look, look. It's your friend. Look at the bird. The bird is. Do you want to pet him, Lenny? Cool. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh, yeah, he's not having it. Pika. <laughs> Boo. What is it? A fruit. But so big. What do you think about the birds, Lennon? They're so big, Dad. But they wear our colors, huh? Black and white. 
You like this alpaca, Lennon? This is a homie. He's got dreads. <laughs> Animals like provide so much entertainment and the kids are excited. And I've never seen a condor or a puma in real life. Good job, Peru. As I was finishing editing this video, I realized that this video is quite a bit shorter than normal. And the reason for that is because there were things we wanted to do in the Sacred Valley that we just didn't have time for. We had such a jam-packed week already that we couldn't fit everything in that we wanted to do. So I thought it'd be fun to show the other things that we had planned on our itinerary. That way, if anyone watching this is going to Peru, you can go do these things and tell us how they work. First up are the Maras salt mines. This is the largest salt extraction operation in Peru with over 4,500 salt ponds. The salty water originates from a nearby spring and flows down to these pools. When the water in the pools evaporates, the salt can be extracted. It's only a short drive to get here and this spot makes for great photos. Next is Pisac. Like Ollantaytambo, this is an Incan city known for its historic ruins and lively markets. There are quite a few different ruins to choose from in Peru, and these are supposed to be some of the best. Last but definitely not least is the Urubamba River. This river has some of the best whitewater rafting in South America. There are class three rapids, and if you have time, I think this would be a really fun excursion. Okay, now I want to give a sneak peek of some of our upcoming videos. Up next, I hiked a mountain that summits at 17,000 feet and got more sick than I could have possibly ever imagined. Then I surprised my dad with a night stay on the side of this cliff. After that, Chloe Lennon and myself went and stayed in a dome on top of a mountain. We ate all types of Peruvian street food in Cusco, and then we had the most eventful travel day we've ever had. These are some of the craziest videos we've ever filmed and I'm stoked to share them. <laughs>